Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Moderately Anonymous MTG CEDH, the greatest CEDH channel in the multiverse. As always, this episode is brought to you by TCG Player. Get that TCG Player affiliate link in the description to pick up any of the cards that you see in today's video. It's a great way to help out the channel. And thank you to all of our patrons that make great content like this possible. Become a patron, enjoy Patreon exclusive content, and get direct support to the channel. And remember, if you enjoyed this video, it helps a lot to click that like and subscribe button. One of the best ways to support the channel and everyone is highly appreciated. And make sure you visit our merch store to get some official Modern On merch. We've got t-shirts, sweatshirts, and crewnecks with original Modern On designs. Moderately Anonymous MTG is now also an affiliate of Inked Gaming. Make sure you use our affiliate link to design and pick up your own custom gaming accessories or order official Modern On playmats. I've got some great guests joining us today. Cam and Alan from Roll for Crypt are here. Make sure you subscribe to them here on YouTube. And I've also got fellow Twitch streamer, YouTuber, and friend of the show, Ryan, aka Slick Judge, with us. First up, we've got Slick Judge playing the Locust God. This is a proactive Is It Storm deck looking to quickly cast its commander and follow it up with combos to draw the entire deck and kill opponents with hasty insects. Second is Mod playing Tim and Jessica Mad Farm. This is a proactive ad nauseum deck using its commanders as control and grinding engines while setting up combos to create infinite mana, feed through Jessica, and win the game. Third up is Alan playing Shorakai Genesis Engine. This is a mid-range control deck that uses Polymorph to turn pilot tokens made by Shorakai into Holebreaker Horror to achieve infinite mana and win the game by drawing the deck with Shorakai. And last up we've got Cam playing Satoru Umazawa. This is a mid-range combo deck using its commander's ability to drop massive creatures into play to close the game out with combat damage and combos. And without further ado, let's hop into the game. Um, oh, we probably have reached the end of our prediction on uh, whether or not you were going to win this game. Let's see what everyone voted. Is oh, 69% for yes. Oh my goodness. All right, well, we're, obviously we're going to get nice. to the yeses. Yeah. Wait, if I was going to win this game? Yeah, 69% of people uh, who voted <laughs> believe that perfect. you were going I to win. I literally nice. have to win now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the uh, that's the weed number. That's awesome. Yeah, I know. I know how much you yeah, love weed. It. So <laughs> yeah, I really I love weed a lot. Yeah, you're always talking about it. Free games, anyone? Yeah. Good luck. Have fun. Yeah, I got nothing. Uh, good luck. Have fun, everybody. I will draw a card. Command tower. Mox diamond pitching cascade bluffs. That for a blue. Casting a ponder. I'm going to keep them there. I like to draw a magic card off the top of my library. And I'll cast Ooh. a Ragavan. Oh, Ragavan. Ooh. Nice. Love that. And I'll ship it. I will draw. Play Windswept Teeth as my land for turn. Exile a Simeon Spirit Guide from my hand. Add a red mana. And cast a Soul Ring. Sacrifice this Windswept Teeth. Go to 39. I'm going to get myself a Scrubland and cast an Esper Sentinel. And then I'm going to pass. I will draw. Paying two life. Going on to 38. Mod, I would like to see the rest of your hand. You are not going to pay, so I'm going to draw one extra card before you take a peek, and then I will reveal the contents of my hand. Got this one. Okay. This guy. Oh no. This one. Uh, this. Yep. And that. Oh, nice. Okay. I will draw a card from Git Probe Pathway, but on the blue side, I will drop my mana crypt into a Felwar stone. I'll draw for turn. Play a Scalding Tarn. Crack it. Lose one. Gonna grab an Underground Sea. And I'm gonna tap it to play a Mox Diamond, pitching a Tarnish Citadel. I'm tapping it to pay for Esper Sentinel. You got it. Okay. And that is gonna be my turn. Untap, upkeep, draw. I would like to go to combat. I don't think Dan blocked with Esper Sentinel, right? No. Yeah, Dan, I'll swing at you for two. You got it. I think it's also probably, like, objectively correct to punch me. Ooh, yeah, ad nauseum. Do you like that spell? Oh, Do you want to cast that spell? That is exactly oh. what I wanted to hit. Oh. It's oh, until no. end of turn, right? Yep, until end of turn, you can cast the spell ad nauseum. <laughs> I'll shock in the steam vents. Pay three for a trinket mage. When that ETBs, I'll go grab it. We're going to get a mana crypt and we're going to cast it. Sentinel there trigger? Go. Yeah, I'll pay for it. And I'll pass the turn. Untap. At my upkeep, I would like to cast a Vampiric Tutor. Yeah, I'll lose two life. Alan, you know what I'm getting. I know what you're getting. Oh, I know. You're getting. I think you're getting Divine Gambit, right? That's it. 
No, I'm getting Crow Storm. All right, draw step. I will play a Command Tower as my land for turn, and I'm going to cast a Sarah Ascendant. I'll move to combat. I will assume that Cam is on some sort of life loss spell, and I will attack Cam for one. No blocks. I will take one. And I will pass the turn. All right, I will untap the crypt. Odds I take damage. That is a two. My God, I did it, everybody. You did it. I did it. I said the thing. All right. Draw for turn. Play this. We can wrap it up. I think we're done here, right? <laughs> yeah, I got everything I needed for the TikTok, so we're good. All right, cool. Have a great night, everybody. Right, see you. Cast our lowly commander. Those Pikachu's are going to be my pilot tokens whenever they time. Incredible. Is that a creature spell? I have no idea. It is not. It's it is not a legendary a artifact vehicle, so there is an Esper Sentinel trigger on the stack. Would and... you like to pay for it? Okay, yeah, I will pay. Yeah, pay for it. There we go. Yeah, I'll yeah, pass it's... priority on Shorakai. Three is a lot, so you know, it. just Underworld Breach and LED. And, yeah, that's uh, all you need. Gucci. Yeah, I got yeah, nothing for Shorakai. It was the, the other Command other Tower, you know that. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, did. I, I didn't doubt it for a second. Is that it, Alan? Yeah, that's it. I'm sorry. Uh, tap. Draft turn. We'll tap Mox Diamond, blue mana, play a Thousand Face Shadow. Okay, that's my turn though. Okay. Untap, upkeep. Roll for Crypt? Three, I'll take three. I'll draw a magic card. I'll play this island. I'll cast a Treasonous Ogre. Oh no. Um, Should've let me draw the extra card. I'm just kidding, I can't do anything about this. <laughs> I will pay 15 life in a blue for my commander. I will then pay a blue to cast a preordain. I will not pay. Okay. Oh, you're fucked now. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna warping whale the preordain. I'm just kidding. <laughs> put both on bottom, I think. No, I'll put one on top, one on bottom. I'm gonna try to be responsible. Draw one card and make a bug. I will go to combat. I would like to swing. Me. Swing trinket mage and ragavan at ya. Anything else? Nope, that's all. So make a treasure and exile top card of your library. Top card is a resculpt. Spend my treasure for a blue mana and resculpt the Terra Ascendant. It costs one and a blue. I thought, sorry, I thought it was one blue. I'll pay three life as well. Okay. I'll make a four four. Find out. I'm F6. I'm going to go ahead and go grab my food from my porch. I'll be right back. Got it. Untap, upkeep, and draw. Going to play a Luxury Suite as my land for turn. Let's leave one colorless floating off of this Soul Ring, and I'm going to cast a Ranger Captain of Eos. Ranger Captain Trigger, I'm going to get a Hope of Giraper. I'll use okay. my one floating in the pool to cast it. Cam, let's swing the 4-4 uh, four, four token at you. Yeah, I think I'm actually going to I'm gonna declare a block. Oh, okay. And... I think that I'm just going to pass the turn from there. Fun tap. I will have a crypt trigger. That's another two on fire. All right, let's draw. Uh, land for turn will be a Manamo. School at water's edge. Activate Shorakai. I will draw two and let's discard the snow covered plains. I can do it. You said you think you can do it? I hate to hear that, bud. I, I think I can do it. Uh, <laughs> let's pay four. You need to win the game? Attempt to cast a polymorph. Oh, shit. Hey. Sack the ranger captain. <laughs> That's the only thing I can do, I guess. Yeah, I guess I have to. I'll sacrifice the ranger captain in response. Okay. Soul ring. I only have one. This gets also like a freaked up graphic, so it's working. All right, so it's working for the audience, I guess. Yeah, let's see if there's a quicker way to do this. Yeah, mining clock. All right. Pretty sad. Gonna be the bottom card. I hope so. Get a quick little deck deck here, real quick. Oh, I actually took it out when you weren't looking, so don't bother. Oh, oh I forgot that you texted me that you did that. That was a really good move. Nice pregame action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one really expects it, but you can just, like, cheat, you know? <laughs> <laughs> no, they never expect the cheat. There's reverse. Oh, God. There it is. There we are. Yeah. Oh, damn it. I grabbed the wrong one. I think I have the pass turn there. I'll drop. Oh, I forgot. I had an Esper Sentinel trigger on your, uh, on your morph. Do you oh. want to pay for it? Yeah, I do. Yeah, so I am going to play a Mana Crypt. I am going to pay for Esper Sentinel. You should not pay for Esper, so I can draw Swords to Plowshares to kill this Holebreaker. I got an answer for, for the... Oh, hell yeah, man. Go oh, off, my king. Go off, so, king. Well, you you guys might not like it, though. Eh, we'll see. I so I'm, like I'm going to tap the three mana Toxic Deluge. 
Oh, not mad at that at all. Aww. What is Holebreaker Horror has eight toughness, right? Oh yeah, not that one. Yeah, I'm gonna pay eight. You got it. I love it. You were wrong. I love that. I was trying to win the game on my turn. Nah, -uh, Ryan, don't I lie. I know, crazy. I know, it's crazy. I know. No, you're lying. Stop lying. I'm not lying. Don't lie on the internet. I'm not, I'm not a liar, Ryan. That's, a, that's illegal to lie. <laughs> Stop on the lying internet. on the internet. Yeah, it is. It's on the internet. It's, so it's that's illegal. True. <laughs> It'll be your turn though, uh, Ryan. On tap. Up beep, mana crypt trigger. I'm good. I'll draw a card. I'll tap a blue and cast a brainstorm. A Cephalid Coliseum. Three for solve the equation. I have no cards in hand. I'm just going to get a wheel and cast Wheel of Fortune. Fine by me. Uh, I've got a Cathar Commando and Infernal Plunge and a Grand Abolisher. Uh, Path the Exile, Tezzeret the Seeker, Polluted Duty, Chain of Vapor, and a Transmute Otter Fat. Mine was just an intuition and a dark ritual. Alrighty, anything else, Ryan? Nope, I'm all good. I will untap and draw for turn. Play an exotic orchard. And then let's leave a colorless floating here, and I'm going to cast a Dockside Extortionist. Seven treasures. Seven. Healthy amount for a healthy boy. Alright, we're going to spend a red here through this exotic orchard and cast a Dragon's Rage Channeler. Pay a black with this treasure and sacrifice Dockside Extortionist to a Culling the Weak. Trigger the Dragon's Rage Channeler. Frixian Tower into the bin and add four black. Let's use one of the black down to three. And the colorless floating cast a Cabal Ritual with Threshold active and trigger the Dragon's Rage Channeler. Okay. Yeah, this doesn't seem this doesn't seem good. I'm going to bend a plateau and then I'll make five more black. Let's use two of the floating black, go down to six floating black and cast a Tainted Pact mm. and trigger oh. the Dragon's Rage Channeler. Alan, you got anything for it? I'm not too worried about it, honestly. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll pass priority already on it. Okay. Um, I'll bin a monkey and then resolve Tainted Pact. Hmm, Underworld Breach, eh? Mm. Pretty good. Got some good stuff in the bin. Can I win with this Empiric Tutor? I don't think so. I don't have a way to draw. No, but you have a DRC trigger where you can put into the grave. Uh, that's correct. Yeah, that's a good point. 14 cards in the bin. Got all the mana I would ever need. Hmm. Okay, I'll stop there. I will crack one treasure, spend one floating black, and cast an Underworld Breach and trigger the Dragon's Race Channeler. How mm -hmm. many cards in hand? I have two cards in hand. Force of Negation, uh, exiling a Swan Song. Okay. You got it. Nice. Alan saved us there. And then DRC Thank trigger. You sacrifice, Alan. I'll keep this one there. Let's spend two of my black and a white, and I'll cast him to the Weaver. I'll cast Jessica. That comes in mm. with two counters. And um, I'll just move to pass the turn from there. Taps. You find a dice. That's a six. Uh, you straw. Drop a command tower. Let's pay one mana for a Codex Shredder. I'm going to cast a Time Twister. Yeah, no responses for me. Cool. All right. Uh, let's pay two life. I'm going to cast the Git Probe. Modadon has the most uh, aggressive board say, so Mod, let's see your hand again. Uh, the honor is all mine, my friend. All right, let's see. We have got one of these, mm -hmm. one of those, yep. this thing, which has an Ooh. alternate border, but it is that thing. Yep. Got that. Yep. And this. Oh, no. And that. And this. Okay. Is that problematic? Oh, yeah, just not anymore. Okay. I forgot the time twister. I was like, are you going to dump a Poly Titan? <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> uh, I will draw from Git Probe. So I'm going to pay one blue for a Mystic Remora. I think I'm just going to pass the turn there. Untap, roll for crit. That is a six. We are safe. Draw for turn. We are going to cast an Ornithopter. Shock in a Seagate Reborn, so I'll take three. Yeah, we're going to tap three. We'll have one colorless floating. I will play Satoru. That's going to be my turn, though, so I'll pass. Untap. Upkeep. Mana Crypts. Nice. Island. Ristic Study. I will not pay. <gasps> Baron. Master Wizard. And I'll go ahead and ship it from there. Oh, okay. So we're not going to die. Okay. Yeah, I was scared for a second. That was dope. 
love not dying. Untap, upkeep, and draw. Play a flooded strand as my land for turn. Let's sacrifice this strand. I will go to 34 and I'm going to get myself a plateau. Let's move to combat. Ryan, I would like to attack you with Timna for two. I have no blocks. Okay. I'll gain two, go to 36, and then I will pay one into Timna and draw one card. Leave a colorless floating, and I will sacrifice Dragon's Rage Channeler to this diabolic intent. And I'll pay for the Rhystic Study and not for the Mystic Remora. Get that. Let's pay two white mana for Grand Abolisher. Yeah, I'm just going to use one for now to activate Shore Guy. Okay. Draw two. And let's discard a Mistress Workshop. Let's cast a Mana Crypt and everyone can draw. Sorry, are you paying? Did you pay the Rhystic Study for your Grand Abolisher? I will pay for a Rhystic Study. Yeah, I'll cast a Mana Crypt and everyone can draw for crypts. Leave a Colorless Floating, and I will cast a Cabal Ritual with Threshold not active. Everyone can draw. Three black. And I will use one of my treasures for a red, the Colorless, and one of the black, and cast a Wheel of Misfortune. All right, three, two, and one. Nice. Zero, yes. <laughs> I'll pay 14 life, and I will go to 21. I'm dumping Reanimate, Shatter Skull Smashing, Ancient Tomb, and a Seven's Reclamation. Five, six, seven. I'm going to cast a Mox Diamond, and everyone can draw. I'm going to bin a Spectator Seating. A black here, and I'll use my two Floating Black. That is going to be three for a Necropotence. Oh, mm. no. Mm -hmm. Drawing. Drawing. Yep, everyone can draw. And then I'm going to go ahead and pay... Oof, boy, I just have to hope I hit uh, the final fortune here pretty much. I don't know what else I can do, really. I guess that probably makes sense no matter what I'm doing. Let's minus two on Jessica. I'll point it at the pilot, the ornithopter, and the uh, baron. I'll pay 15 and go to six. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then I'm going to move to my end step and put these into my... Yep. Okay. Still in my end step. We go. I found yeah. Tainted Pact and Culling. Let's, um, yeah, I'm not going to need mana next turn. So let's spend one of these treasures in my end step here. I'm going to cast a Dark Ritual and I'll add three black. I'll use two of it and go down to one to cast Tainted Pact. Oof. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. That was very lucky. Cast the Final Fortune. Uh, this is in the bin now. I've got one black floating in the pool. Oh, are you sorry? Um, you're not paying for any of those, right? Nope. Okay, so I'll draw three. Definitely going to exile all of these lands. Uh, we'll put Silence into Exile and Flame Scroll Celebrant and Infernal Plunge. And then I will move to my extra turn. Untap. Upkeep, roll for crypt. Lots of damage. I'll take damage down to three. That's going to be four for Grim Hireling. Which doesn't do a whole lot. It's just going to net even, but it'll change my mana crypt mana into colored mana. Then let's move to combat, and I'm going to swing the Grand Abolisher at uh, Slick and the Timna at Alan. Uh, declare new blocks. Mm -hmm. Two? Gain two, lose two, make four treasures, draw two cards. Hmm. I think I'm going to lose the game. Hmm. I don't think I can win with only this one tutor. Let's find out, though. I'm going to cast an Imperial Recruiter. Okay. Can I draw a card? You can. don't think there's anything I can get with this that will let me win the game. Oof, ma'am. Yeah, the only thing I can get is the Oriok Salvagers, but I just don't have a way to get... The LED. Let's take a peek at this hand one more time. Yeah, I can't do anything, so I'm going to move to my end step, and Final Fortune will put a trigger on the sack, and I will lose the game. Damn. We did okay. it. I love a Final Fortune, so. I didn't do anything. I live the dream. <laughs> I will move to untaps. You survived. Uh, I mean, that's something. Yeah, true. Uh, I'm going to trigger fish first. Too. I'm going to let fish die. Makes sense. That's a five. I take three. Down to 27. Let's draw on for a turn. Clock. Uh, let's start off with a Paluti Duty. 
And we'll fetch it, go down to 26. We'll go get my Tundra. One simple planes to cast this one simple Mana Vault. Would you like to pay one? That does put a dampener on things, doesn't it? <laughs> does it? I don't know. It does. A little bit. Actually, a lot of mana. Not for me. Oh, you just mean like the Rhystic Study in general? Yeah, in general. Okay, I thought you meant like this one singular mana. No, no not like, this one, one singular. Mana. No, I'm okay, but... One singular Rhystic Study. <laughs> My whole plan is falling apart. <laughs> it does. Uh, I'm going to have one colorless floating. Uh, one colorless to activate Shore Kai. Let's discard a P Vista. So three colorless and a blue, and then one additional for uh, Rhystic Study on a tip to mm -hmm. cast Polymorph. I'll do my part. I'm going to attempt to force negation pitching a Siren Storm Tamer. Blake, you got anything for that one? I have no response to <laughs> Does Slick have something for me? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I bet not. Counterspell? I'll pass priority um, on Counterspell. Uh, Rhystic Study trigger. Hold on. Yeah. Uh, you can draw. Sorry, right, uh, Can, would you pay for your Rhystic? I, I will pay for it, yes. Okay, Sorry. so now Rhystic trigger. You both can get on, one for mine. You paid for the Polymorph and one for Counterspell. Yes. Okay. Um, I see your counter spell. I'll take a damage. I'll raise you a counter spell. I'll show you a fierce guard. Not paying. Not paying, huh? Sheesh. All right. Chat. Is it gonna be a force? Oh. No, I doubt it. Press X to doubt. Um, I press X. I have no response. Let's go right. digging again. Yep. Polymorph resolving. We don't lose with just one mana, right? Well, yeah, there, here's the thing, is that there's no way Alan has another card in his hand to cast. There's no way that I gave For him one. For one mana? Yeah, uh-uh, no. I didn't give him, like, 20 cards, so I don't understand how he even would. Ugh. I just looked through your deck, Alan. We know it's the only creature in there. I know, but I gotta do it this way, because... Oh, wait, it shuffles, so it doesn't matter. It just matter. shuffles, yeah. Okay, I'm thinking Proteus staff that it actually matters. Yeah, I'm good with you just uh, going and grabbing it. Wherever it may be hiding. Yeah, I grab, feel the same way with it. Cody. Like, I feel like people are going to yell at me in the YouTube comments if I just go and grab Profane Tutor, but, like, you know the deal. Yeah, and now rip it up and pass your turn. Mm -hmm. No, that's not how that card reads. It goes on the battlefield. Lotus Petal? Bang. With that whole Breaker Horror trigger, do I bounce the Rhystic Study? Probably. Yeah, let's bounce the Rhystic Study. Okay. And then do you pay for the Lotus Petal? Yes. I pass priority. We're going to crack the Lotus Petal you, Dan. for the white. I want to cast a source of plowshares. I'm going to target the only creature that's on the field, which is Cam's oh, Breaker Horror. Oh. Yes. <laughs> uh, that'll trigger. I'm going to bounce the Mana Crypt to hand. Play Mana Crypt, bounce the Felwar Stone. Mm -hmm. Proceed to show a loop where I can generate infinite colored mana with the Felwar Stone since uh, Slick Judge over there has a command tower. Infinite yeah. mana achieved. I can go through a loop where I can bounce Shorkai at each iteration. Or actually, Codex Shredder's out. I can just tap you guys and mill everybody out. Yeah, because I can cast the Mana Crypt, bounce the Codex Shredder, float the one, Codex Shredder, tap, float. Ryan, you got so an Eldrazi you, Titan in there? I have a Kozilek in my deck. I thought at one period of time you actually did have, like, maybe Ulamog in there for some reason. I did. Ha I used to have Kozilek a long time oh, ago. Oh, because, uh, yeah, because you needed the shuffle back in because you didn't have that five mana merfolk. Well, nice. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Good game. E G. G freaking G. Alan, All this right. was coming at you. Unfortunately, oh, the. Oh, I knew, I knew someone was coming at me soon. The, I was like, I gotta seven, do this. Yeah. Unfortunately, the 17 <laughs> cards in my hand, there was literally only one counter spell. Oh, my God. Dang. Big congrats to Alan on a great win. I was really impressed by how quickly Alan was threatening to win this game, and it took Cam having the Toxic Dalers directly after him in turn order to save us from dying a horrible Kraken death. But Alan played to his outs, shuffled his Kraken back in with Time Twister, and very fortunately for him, as deep as I dug on my pre-final fortune turn nearly 30 cards, I wasn't able to come up with the correct tutors to close it out, leaving the window open for him to close the game out with ample protection. Big thanks again to my guests for joining me today. You can find Roll for Crypt here on YouTube making great CDH content, and you can find Slick Judge here on YouTube as well as on Twitch. Make sure you follow them both. Remember, if you like this video, one of the best ways to support us is by leaving a comment and hitting that like and subscribe button. It's incredibly helpful and always appreciated. If you want to support the channel more directly, become a patron to catch episodes early and unlock exclusive bonus content. One final thank you to all of our patrons who make great content like this possible. And thank you for watching. Be good to yourself, everyone.